Hi everybody, I'm Dami. I'm Jamie. And we are filming our Hometown History Season 2, Episode 9, short episode about Kreitz Creek Library. We are currently in the Martin Library Children's Place, which is why we have this fabulous background. It's a story time background. And even though we're in Martin Library, we're going to be coming to you and talking about Kreitz Creek Library. So here is where Kreitz Creek is. It is over on the eastern side of the county. So here are our takeaways for this short. Um, one is that we almost lost Kreitz Creek Library many times. Mm -hmm. We are fortunate to even have it, and tonight you'll learn about all the perils that came along the way. But we are a resilient community who hustles to make our vision become a reality. Yes. So let's start um, with... Um, Agnes. Agnes is the beginning of our story. So Tropical Storm Agnes came through um, York County, was it 50, 50 years 50 ago? 50 years ago. Yep, we filmed a Hometown History episode 2.6 on this. And what happened was um, in 1972 when Agnes wreaked havoc on Pennsylvania, um, there was a specific issue in Williamsport. So FEMA came in, they brought these traveling trailers and these mobile homes that could quickly be set up for supplies and for disaster relief and the one went to Williamsport. Here is a picture of what it looked like because Dami's gonna now tell us about what happened four years after. Yeah four years later the Wrightsville Rotary and other civic organizations were looking for a library in eastern York County. The double wide a 1,200 square foot trailer that was used for Agnes was trucked south. Unfortunately one of the bridges was too low and the impact of the trailer damaged the roof. It was repaired and readied for the library to use in 1979 <laughs> and I'm laughing but it's actually like not a good thing. Right. Like that was a huge deal when you're trying to set up a library. A library yeah and it seemed that more water laid in store for this poor trailer. There were heavy winds that, that slept through the unpaved parking lot at the library dedication event, and the field that it was in turned super <clears throat> muddy, so vehicles were stuck, some of it needed a tow, but two people came on their horses, which I think is super neat. <laughs> Such a county. county thing to do. <laughs> um, and they were the future county commissioner, Jay Blair, Barron, and his wife, Pat. Um, at the library, despite uh, it being a FEMA trailer, which was you know part of Agnes, to mm -hmm. then getting wrecked on the way down, to then having a stormy first beginning, it became a success. Yep. And the library immediately was popular, and it doesn't go out of danger. In 2003, there was a water pipe that broke, and again, the library shut down for another week. Volunteers had to use sponges to clean it up. I feel like it was the cursed FEMA trailer. Yeah. yeah. I feel so bad for them. And water, water, water. It was always yeah. water. <laughs> yeah, but the, we have a little story to tell you about the longtime library board member, Eva Mae Christ, walking into the building with her grandson for a Wednesday story time led by librarian Richard Bowers. And she said, there wasn't enough room for all of us as we were crowded together to watch Mr. Bowers and Doggy do the routine, Chris said. There were more than 50 children there. This double wide built for single family hosted a story time roster for 50, 50 children. 50 kids in that trailer. That's a lot The of dedication people. to reading is phenomenal. I know. <laughs> Um, when Hellam Township built their new municipal building, the library also went into the renovated old building. So here's a picture. They moved into an 8,800 square foot this year, and you might be wondering what's going to happen to that old trailer. Well, the township is developing it into a community center. Very cool. Yeah. Um, it will host national night out events and birthday parties, and township manager Karina Mann has noticed a big relationship between the patrons and that little Kreitz Creek Library. She says the residents love their library. That so, FEMA trailer lives right, on. <laughs> yeah, FEMA to then getting hit to then all the water, but yeah, it's still there. Hopefully their water days are behind them. <laughs> but a few takeaways from this. So we almost lost Kreitz Creek Library many, many times. Um, but we're a resilient community who hustles to make their vision become a reality. Yeah. So don't forget to go watch our main bar episode that we just filmed yes. on the history of the Martin Library, which is the where you can visit, if you're interested, the sculptures in the background yes. in the children's section. Children's Place. Children's Place. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. See ya.